Today's topic will be Area Mashup. Area Mashup is a, is a widget that was used by MicroStrategy prior to 9.4. They later on transformed and started using Image Layout or Google Maps, etc. Uh, the reason I'm covering this topic still because a lot of people are still running uh, prior versions to 9.3 and with that they might utilize the Area Mashup. Uh, again, there's some limitations depending on the hotfix. I will show you uh, as we go. Uh, let's go in, into our desktop environment and start creating a report first. So I'm going to use the MicroStrategy tutorial. And in my reports folder, I'm just going to create a report. Very simple report. And from blank. Choose one attribute to be your state. So, the idea here with these mashups, like the area mashup, was to allow utilizing maps that were kind of built in as a background and associated with different uh, regions or different uh, countries, etc. So, in this one, we're going to use the country, or let's use actually the customer hierarchy. Let's use the customer state. Okay, so these are very limited in nature because the map has to be available, and you can ask your admin to add the visualization map. There are multiple ways to do that in SDK or without SDK. But anyway, some of them are out of the box, like this one, customer state. And let's add a metric. Let's just use something like revenue. All right, and let's filter by time. Let's see what they have. Okay, let's just use 2010. Older data with the tutorial. All righty. So here's our report. Okay. Close some of the extra boxes. Let's run it, make sure it renders some data. All right, great. So we have a report with a bunch of states in the United States for 2010 with the revenue listed. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it, give it a map revenue USA. If you have your own, you know, country or regions, that you could do the same thing. You could uh, just find out where the USA map uh, is saved in your uh, on your server and add another map of your choice, and then you can pick it up from your widget deployment. Uh, so now let's go to Graph View. Let's see what kind of graph it gives us by default here. All right. So what do we have? We have the basics etc so now here we you know we have the graph typical options you can you know change but you don't have that capability to map right on uh, from the desktop you have to do it through the web okay so let's close this guy since we saved him and let's go to our web environment here is my report let me run it All right, here's the data that I have. Now, there's something here under Tools, if you click on it, that shows custom visualizations. Because before that, you only have the grid, the graph mode. But what we can use custom visual. Now, if you don't see this one here, what you need to do is as an admin, probably as a user too, let's see. Depends on what your privileges are. If you go to Project Default, scroll down there will be an option that says enable custom editor it has to be enabled if it's not click here and apply once applied go back to your project and when you run your report you should see this option pop up so let's click on it and see what we can do first thing is you want to enable now obviously because this is a report not a you know not a dashboard 
it's going to enable Flash or Ajax, so depending on your environment. There's a lot of uh, these custom visualization widgets. Again, depending on your version, they might change. For example, the area mashup is an older one, now replaced by the information map. Also, Google Map will let you do the same thing. Okay. So the first thing we need to do in our case, we're going to add the area mashup. And we're going to look at the properties. There's going to be bands for information and a map. Notice it defaulted to Europe, but the one we used was USA. And there's multiple out of the box, world, USA, Europe, etc. <coughs> you can add your own as well, but you need uh, to add it from the server side. USA, you can change some of these colors. Now I'll talk about the colors in a second because they're a little tricky, okay? And there we go. Here's our map. When you hover over, you will notice that the different states have different values. Now notice this. This is the downside of this. Because Microsoft doesn't support uh, area mashups anymore, the version I am running will not interact with this threshold bar, okay? So what they did is they stopped supporting it, this stopped working, and then in later hotfixes of 9.21, they dropped it all together. So I have a version of 9.21 that I'm running here that will not show this. So what is the uh, alternative? Well, you, obviously you can't use this in those new versions. So if you want to get rid of it altogether, just go. Let me show you this thing. So if you go here first, you will see a limited number in Flash. So your alternative would be in an older version to convert your work into a dashboard first. And then, after you convert it to a dashboard, go to design mode. And we're going to go to the properties and formatting, to the widget, area mashup. But we're going to change it. See, these are the same bands that didn't work for us. We're going to change it to a area mashup. Okay, we're not going to mess with, sorry, did I say area mesh? We're going to change it to image layout. Okay, and you can use the area marker or bubbles. Let's just choose the markers, for instance. Keep the background and keep the map as USA. Okay, and now let's demonstrate our widget. So now we have a different kind of map, the information map, which again is missing the threshold, so they dropped the threshold for this map altogether. And if you go to interactive mode, it will work as well because it's a flash and interactive at the same time. Obviously with newer versions of MicroStrategy they're trying to improve the mapping and this is just one way that you know they started with the area mashup then they converted to this here and obviously you can change some of the properties and again they're all interactive like you see. Uh, if we go to the design mode, sorry, design mode and look at the properties again for the widget which are right here you can change the background or you can even use bubbles try not to use a big bubble size for max something like 10 Let's see what this does for us So obviously California has the bigger bubble. Some of them have even disappeared. Remember, it's a relative 
bubble maybe 10 was too small in my case I should have used uh, maybe 50 but you get the idea what they're trying to do here is associate the diameter of this bubble with the uh, revenue okay all right hopefully this was a helpful uh, demonstration and uh, see you in another Mike strategy rooster video thank you